This event has been very wonderful. Wonderful in the sense that it tries to mainstream issues affecting Africa under the African Union. We understand and realize that the challenges of Africa are enormous. So we have to think out of the box and find ways to confront these challenges in a different way. The establishment of Ecosoft made Africa you know, a people-oriented, people-centered and people-driven community in which all stakeholders are effectively represented. One cardinal purpose of ECOSOC is to provide a mechanism for African civil society organizations to actively contribute to the policies and programs of the African Union. It's an event that actually identified the heads of um, clusters uh, to support the African Union agenda, especially as it moves towards the 2063 agenda. Today I just got conferred as uh, an African Union ambassador and also a youth envoy to actually see how we can get more young people enlightened with what the African Union hopes to achieve, especially around education, employability, empowerment, and all the other things that would actually get our continent to the next level. The Federal Minister of Labor and Employment is pleased to identify with this event, which marks the activation in Nigeria of processes on the implementation of the AU ECOSOC Article 11 of the third ordinary session of the Assembly. We appreciate the fact that the inauguration today of this committee in Nigeria paves the way for us to key fully into the policies and programs of the AU ECOSOC for the benefits of our dear country. Operationalization of the sectoral cluster committee in Nigeria is a way to go. The government, the citizens, and the people of Africa need more engagement. You also agree with me that Agenda 2063 is a developmental framework of the continent. And the way to bring the AU, ECOSOC, and the AU in general closer to its people is to have the people representative among them. The members of the sectoral committee will bring about new ideas, innovations, projections, and recommendations that will change the socio-economic landscape of the continent and bring about the Africa we want. African Union has a project called the New Decade of Financial and Economic Inclusion 2020 to 2030. And we have a 10 years strategic action plan to increase financial and economic inclusion for women. It is more obvious that we are globally connected as African women and therefore any meaningful development must address women issues and concerns for the African society to move forward. We want to thank the Almighty God for making it possible that we are able to be inaugurated today based on the Article 11 of the AU Consult. The Article 11 of the AU ECOSOC defined the Sectoral Cluster Committee of the AU ECOSOC as the operational mechanism to provide advisory opinion to the government in terms of the policies, the programs and the framework of the African Union. I'm very excited about the appointment given to the Youth Envoy. What this means is that it mainstreams the issues of young people all over the continent. Issues like drug abuse, issues like migration, the refugee crisis, issues like economic empowerment, I want to implore all of you to constructively engage in the deliberations so that the outcome of this program shall be to the benefit of the greater majority of Nigerians. I will conclude, therefore, by guaranteeing you of government support in areas that are within its purview. To urge government and all of us to please support this event, to give a healthy hand. Hopefully we should be able to make an appreciable impact and progress with a view to helping AU achieve its goals and objectives. We intend to make sure that we discharge our duties in our various departments effectively without fear of favor. I'm excited to be doing this. Uh, it's a total sacrifice that I've got to give to this space and I'm committed to ensuring that we achieve all that uh, we have set out to achieve. Africa with a very, very huge young population, if the youth can get it right, it means the continent as a whole will get it right. We need to ensure that the African youth is someone who is upright, someone who is economically independent. With all this, I can assure you that Africa will not only be a continent for the future, but Africa will be the continent for today and tomorrow.